Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing another productive college day in my life. I have an exam to take at some point today, so we're gonna be doing that. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that like really soon. We just had lunch, I'm drinking a Celsius, and we're just gonna get a lot of schoolwork done today. I'm currently in Greenville, I've been here for like a week or so, and I don't know, I just have like no urge to like go back to Columbia at this very moment, so I'm just kinda chilling here. I have to go back at some point this week though, because I have like a lot of packages coming in, but for like the next day or so i'm gonna be here so i figured i would vlog there today maybe tomorrow or just today who knows it is just going to be a productive vlog in general so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure to subscribe down below and like this video if you like productive vlogs also please ignore my hands like i self tan last night and i did not do my face so i look kind of crazy but i'm hoping at some point today to put makeup on and get like an instagram photo but yeah we'll see what the day takes us but for now i think i'm going to study a little bit for my exam and then take it Just looked over my notes a little bit and I'm probably gonna take my exam a little bit later today I'm just really nervous for it and I would keep procrastinating it because I'm really scared but yeah I figured I would come on here and update you guys I'm currently watching my friend Amanda's video I'm currently watching Amanda's video she woke up at 5 a.m. every single day this week or like last week and it's actually really interesting so I will have her channel linked down below you guys should all go subscribe to her she's literally one of the best people I've ever met and you guys will love her as much as I do I decided to come sit outside because it feels so good out here it probably is like maybe like 70 degrees here I'd come hang outside for a little bit you can see I don't, actually can you see there's a house being built right next to my house and um, it's just really close. <laughs> it's like literally like six feet from our house. It's kind of insane, but it feels so good out here. So I'm just gonna sit out here and get some sun, hang out for a little bit and my mom should be home on her lunch break in any minute now. I just like don't mind my parents today because it's just like not good. Like my skin has just been so bad. I don't know why, but yeah, we're just like not gonna talk about like my face. But yeah, it is time to finally take this exam because I have procrastinated it long enough and I'm getting kind of stressed out. So we're going to go ahead and do it. I don't know how many questions it is, probably like 50 or so. And apparently it's untimed, so I can like take however long I need to. But like, I don't think it'll take that long. I just, I hate exams. And this class is so hard. Yeah, I'm going to sit here, take my exam. <laughs> And then probably run some errands later. We ordered some stuff from REI, which is like an athletic store. So we just ordered like two new hydro flasks. One of the 40 ounce, but I really want another one. So I don't have to like lug it around. I don't know, I'm insane. So we got them for a discount at REI. So I'm gonna go pick those up at like 3.45 ish. And then I might stop by Trader Joe's and pick up a few things before I head back to Columbia tomorrow. All right, I really need to stop procrastinating and take this exam. Does anyone else do this with like their schoolwork? Like you procrastinate until like the last minute? Like it's due at 5.30 and it's currently two o'clock. Does anyone else do this or am I just like actually like the worst? Someone please validate me in the comments. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take my exam and I might treat myself to like Duncan or something for doing it. We'll see. But that can be like my motivation for like getting it done. I also really want to put on makeup because like this is like a big difference. Wish me luck you guys. I'll let you know how it goes after. I just finished my exam. Guess what I got? 
a 96 like who is she i did not think i was gonna do that well but it really wasn't that difficult like the first one was so much harder and i got like a c on it and it was like actually impossible to do and this one was literally so much easier and i got a 96 like wow i really did that to him i don't have any other schoolwork due like for the next couple of days like i think the next thing that i have due is due on thursday so on thursday i have a quiz and then friday i have another exam so i'm not going to do any more schoolwork for the rest of today because i don't have anything due but i still am waiting to go to rei so whenever they email me saying that like my order is ready for it literally <laughs> It literally just said your order is ready for pickup. So I'm gonna go to REI soon and then maybe Trader Joe's depending on how busy it is. And I'm just gonna pick up like a couple things at Trader Joe's. I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit and then I will take you guys along with me on my errands. And then I need to like start packing my stuff tonight because I'm gonna go back to Columbia tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. I have no schoolwork left to do. Actually, while I'm sitting here, let's check my YouTube analytics. This always is such a fun game to play. All right, let's check my analytics. The video that I just posted is actually doing so well. It's ranked two out of 10 by like my normal, like average views. It has 155 views in the first day in two hours. It has a 5.1 CTR, which is pretty good. I figured my like average like watch time would go down because it's like a shorter video than what I normally post. But it seems like that's doing pretty well. Channel is like doing like okay, but my subscriber count is like, oh my God. It's just so bad. Like I've gained like no subscribers the past 28 days, which is so sad. And like, I just don't understand like what makes people subscribe. I'm trying to do more like chatty videos and maybe that will help. Cause my last like productive day in my life was, I thought it was like literally so chaotic, but that one did so well for like all of my productive vlogs. So maybe you guys like the chaos. I don't really know. Actually, I'll show you guys like what I'm looking at. And then you guys can see like it on my end. Because when you see like my analytics, like my reach and like my engagement, like it gets so frustrating because I have like 100,000 impressions, which means that 100,000 people have seen my thumbnails like on their suggested page, their homepage, like recommended, whatever. And then like I don't gain any subscribers. So it's just like, why are people not subscribing, you know? And like my views, I have 3.7K unique viewers, which means that like those people have watched my videos and like are not subscribed. So, um, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Okay, let me go back to my reach. So this is what I was talking about. Like 100,000 people have seen my video. You can see it right here. How many times your video thumbnails were shown to viewers includes only impressions on YouTube, not on external sites or applications. So this was literally my thumbnails being shown to 100,000 people, okay? And then my click-through rate is how many viewers watch a video after seeing the impression. So my click-through rate is 4.5%, which I think that's like a decent click-through rate. Like it definitely could be higher, but it's not like horrible. And then you can see unique viewers. As many people that watch your content within the selected date range, you can see here, 25% is from YouTube recommending your content. It's just like crazy. Like these are my top three sources like where people are finding my videos so it's good that youtube search is like the top but also like when i go into it and i look up like what terms people are searching for it's all like university of south carolina and now it's bucket list which is actually really good and then like clean with me bedroom like i've only done one video on that and then the rest is like dorm shopping college dorm all that stuff so yeah, it can get kind of frustrating looking at this stuff, especially when you go to like your audience. And then this is actually super interesting to me looking at the other channels your audience watches. Like look at their subscriber count compared to mine. Like they watch the same videos, watch time from subscribers, not subscribed. 78% of my watch hours are not from my subscribers, which is kind of wild. So yeah, this is what I've been doing. My watch time has been good. Overall, like it is just so sad. Let's look at my most recent video and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So yeah, I have 155 views, which is 35 more than usual. It's about the same watch time because my audience retention rate has been a lot lower because of how like short the actual video is. And then reach, yeah, see like 1.7, like 1,700 people saw it and only like 155 people actually watched it. So that's actually crazy how like close they are. So 39.4% are from browse features, which is like your homepage or like recommended and then YouTube search, which would like literally be like people like searching up my content. 
So that's actually super interesting that like a lot of it has come from YouTube search as well. That's actually really good. I don't like looking at my analytics like all the time, but I do check it like a couple times a day. Just like make sure that like I'm on track and everything is like going well and I'm like progressing instead of like regressing, I guess. I don't know. My subscriber count has been like really wonky lately. Like one day I'll have like four more subscribers and the next day I'll like have five less subscribers and it just like fluctuates all the time which is literally so annoying it's either from people like actually like unsubscribing and resubscribing or like youtube like glitching or like get getting rid of like ghost subscribers i don't even know youtube is like so confusing once you get into like the nitty gritty like details of it and nobody really talks about that i'm gonna like chill here for a second and then we'll go run some errands together i like want to get a coffee but i've had a celsius i had a celsius and then i took like a diet pill that like gives me energy if i get a coffee i feel like i'll like actually like not be able to sleep tonight okay sorry the ac is like blasting right now but it's really hot it's only 67, but like my car is like really hot. Here's the plan. We're going to go to REI and then I'm gonna drive past Trader Joe's and see if it's like crazy or not. And if there's no line, then I'll go in. But if there's like a line out the door, like no. <laughs> Cause I really don't need like stuff that bad. And the one in Columbia is just like way easier to like even like go to. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to put in the GPS to go to REI and I will catch up with you guys. When I get there, let's see how long it's gonna be. 20 minutes, okay. Which way is it gonna take me? Starting route to REI. Head south on. Okay, I definitely forgot to update you when I got there, but I got the goods. I have an olive green hydro flask, which is mine. And then my mom has like this nice coral one. Now I'm about to drive by Trader Joe's and see how crazy it is and uh, either go in or not go in. Hey, I just pulled up to Trader Joe's, so I'm going to go in, pick up some stuff, and I'll give you guys a haul when I get home. Seems like it's kind of busy, but there's no line outside, but um, it just seems like it's gonna be a shit show in there. Okay, this angle's not the best, but I have limited space to work with, so. Trader Joe's haul, and they hold the cones in chocolate chip. These are like a necessity. Hold the cones in chocolate. We have three bags of the vegetable fried rice, and two orange chicken bowls. These are like literally so good, so I got two of these, and then a bag of orange chicken. I wanted to quickly like show you guys more in depth the Hydro Flask that we got. So I just got this one in olive green and it's the 40 ounce one. I like the 40 ounce one because I don't have to fill up my water bottle as much and I drink a lot of water. So I got this color. This is like also my favorite color right now. And my mom got the 32 ounce in this like coral neon peach color. Really cute and she likes the 32 ounces. So yeah, they were both on sale. So we got that. Now I'm going to cool down for a bit because I'm literally sweating and then probably make dinner. So I'll talk to you guys soon.